Hi friends, today we are going to solve Mark's cakework problem from the greedy algorithm part. So the given problem statement is Mark loves cup cupcakes, but he also likes to stay fit. Each cupcake has a calorie count, and Mark can walk a distance to expand expend those calories. If Mark has eaten J cups cake so far, after eating a cupcake with C calories, he must must work at least 2j into c miles to maintain his weight so basic problem statement is that there is an array containing the list of calories and mark would have to walk at least some distance to expend all these calories to stay fit so in this problem statement we have to find the minimum number of calories minimum number of calories he must expend to stay fit so as you could see uh, the given problem statement so in the in the array the calories are 5 10 and 7 and to find the minimum number of calories you should burn so there is a formula so which is 2 to the 0 into 5 then 2 to the 1 into 10 and 2 to the 7 2 to the power 2 into 7 which is 53 so you have to find the minimum number so basically one way of doing is which is very simple is that what if we reverse our array means what if you have sorted our array in a reverse order so the largest number comes at the first position so in that way so as you could see in this in this second problem the entire array has been reversed so the entire array is like 7 10 and 5 so whatever you do you would basically get the minimum number of calories according to the formula so how our here trick would be to reverse it so calorie calorie and then a python function reverse reverse equal to true once you have done that we initialize a temporary variable to store the minimum miles that he has needs to run. Zero comma len. Here you have to be very careful while writing the formula. So it is to the power i and multiply it by calorie value at that position. And we would submit the code. Oops, I made some mistake. In the return, I return the calorie, which shouldn't be true. The minimum number of miles should be returned. Let's run the code. As you could see, it passed all the test cases, and I will submit it. And it passed all the test cases. As always, send me your feedbacks, comment below, so that I could understand any book or part, find it to improve. If you had a better solution, which would even give us a even better time complexity write those problem and as always thanks for watching and stay tuned